I mean, I am talking a 95% reduction in the number of ticks I am finding on us in a year since we got chickens. Hey folks, welcome to life on Beagle Road. Today we are talking about chickens. During quarantine, lots of people ran out and bought chickens for the first time. Maybe you did, or maybe you're still thinking about buying chickens. Is producing eggs on a small scale really worth it, or is it just more work than reward? It's no wonder that earlier this year, when people were feeling really insecure about their access to food, that they turned to chickens. Eggs are some of the most nutrient dense foods that, that you can find. And to be honest, they're in like 75% of recipes too. So when you're cooking at home all the time, it is hard to go without eggs. When we're talking about livestock and raising your own food, chickens are the easiest to raise. It's also really easy to raise just a couple chickens and get what you need. Chickens can lay anywhere from 150 to 300 eggs per year. I mean, that is crazy. You could have four hens and easily feed a family of five for a year on the eggs that they're laying. I know what you're thinking. I live in town. I can't have chickens. You can. Most cities now have an ordinance that allow a certain number of hens per resident. You usually can't have roosters in town, which is understandable. They are loud and they crow all the time, not just in the morning, just literally all the time. They're broken. People have recognized that chickens are an easy way to produce your own food and they're not what everybody thinks. People think of these smelly chicken houses in the country, but that's not what a couple chickens is like. And it's definitely not what it's like as long as you keep up with cleaning their coop. Chickens are perfectly content with a coop and a run with the right amount of space. There are calculations on the internet about how much they each need. And frankly, I go a little bit more than that because I like to spoil my chickens. But I think it's like three square feet of indoor space per chicken. Yeah, I bet it's way less than that. Kenny, this is where you look it up and you put it right on the screen here because I know we did it when we built our coop. A chicken needs at least uh, 12, preferably more like 18 inches of roost space and they do need some indoor space because if it's really bad weather they want to make sure that they can get inside the run might be more like three square feet per chicken but again i try to do a little bit more than that but you don't have to there are lots of coops available online and they give you a recommendation of how many chickens to put in there and in my experience they're pretty accurate if you've got even a small yard there are times where you can let your chickens out to free range you can be outside with them or Maybe you're inside but at home, or maybe you have a little fence that you can put up, let them out of the coop, but they've got more room to explore around. That's great for chickens. They love getting out and just digging in the dirt, having worms and bugs and all kinds of great stuff to dig up out of your yard. And that also makes them the most eco-friendly pet. You may also be thinking, but I've got cats and dogs and kids. Well, so do we. This is Bianca. She doesn't know about personal space. Cats really, once the chickens aren't little tiny chicks anymore, the cats leave them alone. The chickens could kick a cat's butt. They will peck the heck out of them, so no worries on cats. Dogs, you just watch them and train them. I mean, I wouldn't let my dogs alone with the chickens. That would be crazy. But it's easy to make sure they don't have any negative run-ins. And kids, well, chickens are great for kids. It's a great way to teach them responsibility because chickens are very easy to take care of. They just need food and water. And cleaning out the coop, as long as you keep up with it, is very simple.
I like chickens because they walk around all the time and they're also pretty funny at some times. Yeah, they, they do things that dinosaurs would do. The thing I'm excited about is feeding these chickens and their stuff. Watch this. No! Ta-da! And I want to show you what they like. People think there's like a bacteria issue with chickens and that's only if your chickens have that bacteria and you're not, you know, washing your hands after you take care of the chickens. Just wash your hands. It's very simple. That's actually the key to this entire year. Just wash your hands. You know, common sense, right? Let's go back to that eco-friendly pet piece. Not only am I getting fresh breakfast from my chickens, but they are also decreasing our pest population. Not only do they eat mosquitoes and flies and all that kind of good stuff, they also eat bugs that destroy my plants and they eat ticks. We're in Pennsylvania, so we've got ticks galore and it is a problem. The amount of ticks that we find on ourselves has decreased drastically. I mean, I am talking a 95% reduction in the number of ticks I am finding on us in a year since we got chickens. We used to have a crazy tent caterpillar problem in the trees here. Chickens totally took care of it. Emerald ash borer came through here and killed our ash trees. Well, some of them. The chickens must have caught those ash borers as they were moving from tree to tree and boom, our ash trees stopped dying. I also feel confident they would take care of the murder hornet problem if it ever got here. Chickens also loosen up the soil and insert natural fertilizer. Even if you're not gardening and you're just letting them out in your yard, this is great for your yard. Lawns need aerated and they need fertilizer. I mean, any dad worth his weight in suburbia knows that. And chickens are a great, natural, easy way to get it. Protect your white New Balance sneakers. You don't have to do the aeration yourself. Chickens also prevent food waste. Have some produce that's about to go bad, leftovers from dinner, but you're not gonna be home to eat them. Chickens love your leftovers. What else do you get from chickens? Compost, beautiful compost. I can clean out the chicken coop and turn this stinky stuff, just kidding, it doesn't stink that bad, into this magnificent pile of beautiful black gold. If you went and bought this pile of compost, it would be easily a couple hundred bucks. My chickens made it for free. And furthermore, chickens are fun. And they're the closest thing to a dinosaur that you'll ever own. Right, dino girl? She's looking at me suspiciously right now. Glasses are fogging up. It's hot out here. What do you think? Does it sound like chickens are worth it or they're just too much work? Because really all I've told you they need is a little shelter, food and water, and everything they give you. Eggs, compost, fertilizer, lawn aeration, pest control, ecosystem improvement, fun, almost owning a dinosaur. Sounds like the pros way outweigh the cons. I mean, is that even a con? They need food and water? Oh, boo hoo, so do my kids. I get by with a little help from my hens. Oh, I get high with a little help from my hens. I'll try with a little help from my hens. I bet you're wondering how you could get a super sexy chicken coop and fill it with super cool chickens like this one. Well, here is a video on how we built our chicken coop. So start there.